If you're looking to spice up your home theater or living room TV setup, adding impressive sound can really improve your immersion and experience. Nowadays, there are two main ways of doing this, with dedicated speakers and an AV receiver, or with a soundbar. Soundbars are simpler to set up for most people, and today we'll be taking a look at the best soundbars you can buy in 2020. Hey, I'm Ryan from Ratings.com, where we help people find the best products for their needs. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for our latest videos, and check out our website for the full review. When shopping for a home theater setup, most people put more emphasis on the TV and sometimes forget about the sound. But sound is a huge factor in your overall immersion. No matter what your setup or budget, this video will answer your questions about what soundbar is right for you. We'll start small with our top pick for the best small and best budget soundbars, and we'll work our way up towards the best 5.1 system and finally the best overall soundbar system. Unfortunately, this is a fairly simplified list, so if you'd like more information about any of these soundbars, check out our website for the full reviews. The links are in the description. Let's get started. First, we'll start small. It was crowned the best small soundbar last year, and it has yet to be dethroned, the Sonos Beam. It is a good 3.0 soundbar with nice design and pretty impressive performance for its 26-inch wide form factor. It has only one HDMI port for connectivity, but it comes with an adapter for HDMI to optical if your TV doesn't use ARC. In terms of sound, it performs pretty well. There's no sub, so bass fans will find it lacking a bit of thump and rumble, but the rest of the frequency range is clear and neutral. The discrete center channel will help reproduce clear dialogue, and the side-firing stereo speakers do a really good job widening the soundstage without losing too much focus, meaning you can still clearly tell where sound objects are coming from in your room. Surround sounds play out of the same side-firing speakers, so unfortunately there isn't much immersion in this regard. Luckily, since Sonos systems are modular, if you ever find your surround performance is lacking, you can add surround Sonos ones, which should improve your immersion. Similarly, you can add a Sonos sub to improve the lacking bass performance. Do note, the Sonos Beam doesn't come with a dedicated remote, so you'll have to use your phone to control most settings. You can set it up to use your TV remote to control the volume, but the phone app is the only way to access the settings, such as EQ settings and the exclusive to iOS room correction feature. There is no Bluetooth either, but the app allows you to set up any music service you are subscribed to for easy playback. Now, if you're looking for something less expensive to complement your TV setup, the best budget soundbar is the Samsung HW T550. It is a fairly slim bar sitting at 34 inches wide, 2 inches high, and 3.5 and inches deep. It should fit in between the feet of most TVs and is small enough to not block the screen while still delivering impressive sound. The included wireless subwoofer does a great job providing bass to boost the explosions and deliver that extra kick. Unfortunately, the soundstage is just decent, since the bar doesn't have any side-firing speakers and sound seems to be coming from the edge of the bar. The focus is good though, so you should still be able to make out different sound objects. As this is a 2.1 bar, the surround experience is lacking. You do get decent connectivity support though. It has one HDMI in, one HDMI out with ARC, one optical audio in, and a USB to playback some audio files. It also has built-in Bluetooth to playback audio from your phone so you can jam out alone while self-isolating at home. Overall, it is a great budget soundbar with impressive sound for its price point and should fit into a lot of setups. Now, let's get into some more fun and complex systems. The best 5.1 bar is actually technically a 9.1, the JBL Bar 9.1. It has a very cool design. The bar is slick with a metal top and front grille. Each end of the bar has detachable speakers that can be placed in your room for an easy and flexible 5.1.4 setup, and each wireless surround speaker is advertised to have up to 10 hours of battery life, although we didn't test this. The bar will let you know when they are low battery though, so you can reattach them to the bar to charge them back up, or use a micro USB cable for power to leave them in a more permanent spot. The stereo frequency response is great. The wireless subwoofer provides a nice thumpy bass, and the rest of the frequency response is balanced and neutral, which is great for a wide variety of content. It has fantastic center channel performance as well, thanks to the dedicated center and neutral sound reproduction. Those wireless surrounds sound great, since they produce an accurate localization of objects with a good frequency response. Atmos height performance is only decent, but the overall experience from the bar is excellent. If you're looking for a more affordable alternative, 
you should check out the Vizio SB36512 F6. The performance doesn't stack up to the JBL Bar 9.1, but it is still a good bar with dedicated surround speakers for an immersive 5.1 experience. Check out the full review linked below if you'd like more information about this alternate pick. All right, now for the big kahuna, the head honcho, the best overall soundbar of 2020, the Samsung HW Q950T. This is the new top of the line soundbar from Samsung and it replaces last year's best overall choice, the Q90R. Samsung is on a roll with their top of the line sound systems and the Q950T is a fantastic performer. It is a premium, well-built soundbar with amazing sound performance and incredible immersion. Its design is different than the past few Samsung's top of the line bars with a heavy plastic body and fashionable mesh covering, but note that it could get dirty pretty easily. It is pretty long too, so it'll definitely stand out more than some other soundbars, but the angled edges and overall shape will still look good in your setup. The wireless sub and satellites are well built as well. This bar supports every format we test for, including lossless DTSX and Dolby Atmos. You have two HDMI ins and one out, and can pass through 4K 60Hz content. How does it sound? Well, like I said before, it's the best soundbar we've tested. The stereo frequency response is great, with a nice low frequency extension for impressive, boomy, rumbly bass. The rest of the frequency response is neutral, that's well suited for a variety of audio content. It has a good sound stage, it gets loud without much compression, and has clear dialogue from the center channel. The surround and Atmos speaker performance isn't great though, but the overall immersion is good. Overall, you'd be hard pressed to find a better all around performer. That doesn't mean that there aren't close competitors though. The Sonos Arc with 1SL and subkit from Sonos is a great overall performer as well. The Arc is very neutral and doesn't score very well on our test bench since our tests compare the frequency response of the bar to a target curve, and the Arc doesn't line up with that curve. Therefore, the scoring is far off from the expected score and user impression. This is an issue we take seriously and are working on a fix for on our next soundbar test bench. Most soundbars aren't affected by this issue, but keep an eye out on the website for when we launch our new test bench for an update on this issue. Nonetheless, the Arc is a great performer. You have full control of the surround and sub-level through the app, so you can customize the sound to how you prefer. If you want to increase the bass away from the default neutral sound profile and closer to the target curve, you can really crank it. And since it's a modular system like the Beam, you can start off with just the bar and build up the system over time by adding the 1SL surrounds and sub later. Another great performer is the Nakamichi Ultra Shockwave 9.2. It has two subwoofers, and the four surrounds included can be positioned in your room in multiple configurations to optimize the sound to your preference. You can optimize for height performance, surround performance, or a good balance of it all. The sound performance is decent, as it has good bass, but the treble range falls off after around 3000 Hz. The immersion is great though, and definitely a great pick if your room can support the two subwoofers and four wired surrounds. Lastly, the recently released Vizio Elevate Bar is definitely one to keep an eye out for. Although the frequency response might be lacking some treble, it is still very satisfactory with a great low frequency extension. The immersion of Atmos content with the automatically self-positioning speakers and dedicated surrounds with high channels is great. It impressed us in our subjective listening test. Not to mention, the design is really cool. It pairs with the new Vizio OLED TV and mounts onto the stand so that the TV and soundbar can be easily wall mounted together. So to summarize, if you're looking for a small soundbar to fit in your setup, the Sonos Beam is the best performer. As for the best budget option, the Samsung T550 is the way to go with its great sound and connectivity options. The best 5.1 bar is the incredibly versatile and flexible JBL Bar 9.1 with its detachable surround speakers that can be placed anywhere in your room with no cables. And finally, the best overall pick is the Samsung Q950T. It is the best soundbar we've tested and it is sure to knock your socks off. Again, this is a very simplified list, so if you want more info or would like to read up more about any of the products discussed in this video, check out our website or follow the links in the description below. So that's it! Let us know what soundbar you'll be picking up in the comments. You can check out all of the measurements on our website. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel or become an insider on the website for access to our latest results first. Also, 
We're currently hiring in our offices in Montreal for various positions. So, if you want to help people find the best product for their needs, have a look at the career page on our website. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.